everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to Shoemaker, uh, which is part of Nightwish's new album, Human Nature. I'm super excited about this one because apparently uh, Floor is singing in a more operatic style and this is definitely my thing. I really can't wait to hear what she's done with this song. I'm really curious, it's probably the one that I'm the most curious about so far. Also, this is the second video from this series where I will be reacting to every single song from uh, the first CD on Nightwish new album Human Nature. Also, if you don't know me already and it's your first time around my channel, hello, welcome, nice to meet you. My name is Alvan, I am a recording artist in a like fantasy metal genre, uh, that's really my thing. I'm a huge fan of Nightwish and I have been teaching music and singing for 10 years at this point. If you're interested in hearing me sing, I will be leaving a playlist in the corner right here that you can go and check out. I have tons of Nightwish stuff and I'm pretty sure you guys would like it. All right, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and react to Shoemaker, which I'm really curious about. All right. I don't know what instrument that is. Sounds really interesting. Sorry for stopping so soon. Um, like, this sounds really hard to sing. Um, like, there's tons of really, really quick, small notes. Da, 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 da. Kind of, <laughs> can't even do it. Uh, but that's the kind of thing that a singer really needs to sit down as well and learn properly. And she's really nailing it because that's hard to do. Like, very quick, precise, clear, with great pronunciation notes are one of the hardest thing in my opinion that you can do in singing that's that's my opinion of course but that's just how i feel about this i'm like already like oh wow it doesn't sound so impressive because it, it's not like that super virtuoso thing but from a singer to another singer i know that this is hard Like, it's it's like very short, very quick notes, like in the bottom range, which to me is really can be a bit harder uh, to be like really um, precise in pitch when it comes to that. And then like she she like has that, da -da 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 -da, and that there's a there's a jump also right after, and that can be also hard jumps in singing and very quick precise small. Um, decorations, ornaments, quick notes with tons of like one syllable per note. That's hard. hearing her right now and I'm like all I can think of is like oh wow this this must be so hard to sing like really nicely like she she does like I repeat myself like it doesn't look so impressive maybe to someone that is not like a professional singer but it's so hard like it's it's hard I just hear that I'm like whoa okay yeah Little stars. We all make the 
Yeah. Nice. What I like a lot so far um, is that there's a lot of contrast between the different sections on like a songwriting standpoint. Like there's that kind of, I don't know if it's a verse or a chorus, I'm not sure. But like the section we start with, uh, we've repeated a couple of times so far. Uh, and like it's contrasting with this kind of middle section that's like very soft sort of. And then we have that really big breakdown sort of thing and I really like that. Very Nightwish rift here. Again, very contrasting section here. And when he shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars. And he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with the night and pay no worship to the garish sun. Of course, I need to comment on this. Uh, I think that's what you guys are expecting probably the most from me on this song. So uh, yeah, what I have to say is that it's really absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, it's very, very operatic, actually. Uh, like we went just like 100% like opera realm. And um, that's not something that she's done that much uh, so far. And I think that she sounds really nice in in all of her register like it's it's impressive um i have to say that i prefer her lower register in like we haven't been able to hear her sing in an operatic way and her going down but like when she sang those low notes that's what i'm the most impressed with they her low notes sound so gorgeous <laughs> and we haven't been able to hear uh her her top range to me sounds really really nice uh from like a professional perspective whether you guys are like i'm not holding her to her, that standard but i'm i'm just saying what i hear is uh she doesn't sound super super like the most comfortable that she could be she obviously does it really wonderfully so uh but uh, I can still hear that there's like a bit of tension in the higher parts. She doesn't sound to me like the most comfortable as she could potentially be. But don't take me wrong. I absolutely enjoy it. I think it's gorgeous. I'm just saying what I hear. I tend to get a lot of critique when I talk about uh, classical vocals. 
and get like tons of uh, comments uh, about like as if like I'm holding her to some kind of standard uh, which I'm not I think it's absolutely gorgeous and yeah I just hear that her top notes don't feel as comfortable to me as what I just heard in her bottom notes like her bottom notes I'm just like it's jaw-dropping beautiful uh, and her higher register is absolutely gorgeous um, yeah I, I absolutely love it don't take me wrong don't take <laughs> don't take me wrong you guys I think it's absolutely gorgeous I'm I'm repeating myself but I'm I'm just saying that um, I'm just saying what I hear uh, but it doesn't mean that I like it less okay uh, so yeah absolutely gorgeous <laughs> I seem to always do that, right? I always cut like a couple seconds before the end, but I just can't help myself. <laughs> I can't help myself. Like I have some kind of thought and I really need to get it out to you guys before I forget it. Um, but yeah, so nice. That was really, really cool. Um, I really, I think that this song in like a, on a technical standpoint is very difficult to, think, <laughs> to do. I'm the most impressed, I think, with two things her precision when it comes to like the first beginning part of the song and on the second level i'm really impressed that she's able to pull off that classical singing part very nicely and those bottom notes i like we haven't heard her go that down because usually she she wants to go more for a pop sort of voice and like she will sometimes do the high notes in a more operatic way but then as as soon as she goes down, she's gonna come back to a more of like a pop chest sort of tone voice. So I think that it's, uh, I haven't heard a lot of her in that register and I am like, wow. I didn't expect it to like suddenly become so like big and so full like her as in her tone. It's really beautiful. It's really gorgeous. I love it. So before we leave, I just want to let you guys that I actually have an original song of mine that I give away for free and you guys can go ahead and download it. I'll put it in the cards up there as well as in the description box down below. The song is sort of in a fantasy and metal sort of style and I think you guys would really enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video so that I know that I should keep making more videos like this one and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more reactions and more covers from me. Uh, I do them every single week and if you're a fan of Nightwish I think that I'm definitely the channel to follow. So if you enjoyed that reaction and would like to see more reactions of this kind from me I actually will put all of my reactions in the playlist and if you're interested in hearing me sing some Nightwish select that playlist right there and I see you in the next one. Bye! Why is it now?